Hello, this is a virtual pathology specimen of a case of classic Hodgkin lymphoma and we can see here a mass of very large lymph nodes. Let's look at the scale. At this point is the 5 cm mark and if we take a look at this very large node here, it is actually larger than 5 cm in maximal dimension. So the nodes are extremely enlarged, they have a tan fleshy cut surface. In some areas, the capsule appears to be less well defined and these nodes are stuck together or matted to each other. Looking at different areas on the cut surface, we can see some paler areas here which may represent necrosis, although in most areas we don't see obvious necrosis. This whitish area here may represent an area of fibrosis. Let's turn this specimen around. And on this surface, we mostly see the capsule of the lymph nodes. Again, we can see that they are very markedly enlarged with a nodular appearance. Classic Hodgkin lymphoma can also involve other locations other than lymph nodes and the spleen is one of them. And let's take a look at an example. Here is an enlarged spleen and if we look at higher magnification, we can see that there is no one very discrete obvious mass. However, the splenic parenchyma appears to have these ill-defined whitish nodular areas that vary quite widely in size from probably just one or two millimeters to perhaps approaching one centimeter in diameter. This is evidence of a splenic involvement of Hodgkin lymphoma. I'm just panning through the cut surface of the spleen where you can see these vague nodular areas. Hodgkin lymphoma is a B-cell derived lymphoma and it is related to EBV virus infection. There are four main subtypes of classic Hodgkin lymphoma and these are nodular sclerosis which is the commonest type. This can sometimes give a more fibrotic appearance to lymph nodes. Then there is mixed cellularity, lymphocyte rich and lymphocyte depleted classic Hodgkin lymphoma. Here we have seen an example of enlarged lymph nodes involved by Hodgkin lymphoma and here is an example of a spleen that is involved with Hodgkin lymphoma. Usually splenic involvement is secondary involvement in addition to nodal involvement. So there is a bimodal age distribution. This disease affects young adults and also another peak in older adults above 60 years old. Nodular sclerosis Hodgkin lymphoma may show a slight female predominance. Grossly, the lymph nodes are usually fleshy and large. There may be fibrous bands which appear whitish and also nodularity. And we can see this appearance here with the very nodular enlarged lymph node. This nodularity and fibrous bands are usually seen in the nodular sclerosis type of Hodgkin lymphoma, which is the commonest subtype. Also, the lymph node capsule may be thickened. The nodes may be matted, as we saw in the gross pathology specimen. The spleen actually can have several different appearances. It can be diffusely enlarged without any obvious masses, and we only see the malignant cells microscopically. Or there can be numerous small lesions, as we saw in that example, as well as in this picture here. Or sometimes there can be larger, more well-defined, solid, fleshy masses. Clinically, the patients will present with painless, firm lymph adenopathy, and usually the site of involvement is contiguous. For example, the disease does not jump from one nodal location, like cervical, suddenly to paraaortic. Usually it will involve contiguous nodal sites. The commonest site of involvement is the cervical lymph nodes. There may be B symptoms, which are systemic symptoms of fever, night sweats, and loss of weight, and this can actually be quite similar to symptoms of TB as well. 
If mediastinal lymph nodes are involved and are large, there may be a cough, there may be shortness of breath and also superior vena cava obstruction syndrome. Uncommonly, sometimes patients also present with pruritus and splenic involvement is seen usually in advanced disease in approximately one third of cases. The prognosis is generally good with a high proportion of cases being cured by chemotherapy as well as radiotherapy. And staging is done using the Cotswolds modification of the NR ball staging system. This has been around for many decades and it depends on the number of nodal sites, the distribution of involvement, whether it is on one side or both sides of the diaphragm, how large the nodal disease is, the presence of extra nodal involvement, for example, liver involvement, and also the presence of B symptoms. If present, the prognosis is worse. Here is actually another example of Hodgkin lymphoma, and this is involving the mediastinal lymph nodes. There is a separate video describing this case. These virtual pathology specimens are fully interactive, and you can maneuver and magnify them. And if you scroll down, you can also see additional useful information, such as clinical vignettes, gross description, and microscopic annotated pictures. And also videos. There is an accompanying video showing the microscopic features of classic Hodgkin lymphoma. You can register for free and the link is in the video description. In summary, this is an example of classic Hodgkin lymphoma causing marked enlargement of lymph nodes with a very fleshy cut surface and also matted lymph nodes. Thank you.